So I've never done a video like this before, so I'm a little nervous. But I really hope the production quality overall is good enough for those of you watching. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, let's get started with this boss rank of all the bosses in Devil May Cry 5. This game has no shortage of great bosses, which one of the reasons, many reasons it's considered what I consider it one of my favorite games of all time. And in this video, I'll be ranking all the bosses based on their quality to fight as opposed to their difficulty. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, and at the bottom of the list, we're going to have Gilgamesh. This is the only boss I hate. And uh, I have to say, while I hate him, he's not completely terrible. I get what the devs were going for with kind of like a puzzle boss where you, like, you damage his legs to grapple onto them and get on top of his back. And you dodge his spikes on the back. But I just think he's kind of bad. Basically, my main complaint with him is when you're on his back and you dodge the spikes and it gives you like a stun window... When you try, like, charge attacks, sometimes they're a little slippery, where sometimes it just, like, cancels them. Like, I've tried Hell on Earth with Virgil, and I've tried Nero's uh, Devil Trigger moves, and I've had them cancel at least a couple of times. And I think this boss could maybe be improved if maybe the health bar also depleted when like, you uh, damage his legs a bit. And uh, maybe if an enemy spawned on the bottom of his back or something, I think that would have made it a little more exciting. That's really all I have to say. I just don't like this boss. Okay, at uh, second to last place, we have the uh, Clypoth Roots. And these really aren't that much of a boss, but it's presented with its own health bar, and uh, Nero has kind of a cool taunt before this, so... I guess it counts in the ranking. And really, there's nothing wrong with this boss. It's just kind of like a tutorial boss, which is fine. But it's not really a boss you want to ever fight again. Or even really play around with when you fight it, like learning its moves and how to counter all of them. You just want to kind of just beat it down as fast as you can. I will say, though, that on higher difficulties, an enemy spawns with it, which makes it a little bit of a better fight. But that's basically it. Like, uh, And again, really, that the, this boss being towards the bottom of the rankings doesn't mean it's terrible. It's just, just not really memorable. It's just an okay fight. Alright, next up on the list is going to be Needhog. Now, I don't hate this boss as much as a lot of people, but he still has to be towards the bottom of my list. And I will say, I actually enjoy this fight a little bit with V, as the air who it's designed for, because uh, the uh, camera angle fish. kind of suits his familiars pretty well. So and also, I have to say, the execution he does on each of the heads is just too cool. And also, the any execution he does, I just think is one of the coolest in the game, even compared to like some of Nero's. I will say, though, this fight, I'm more mixed with it when it comes to Virgil, because the odd camera angle makes it kind of just not that fun. And, uh, also I will say, I hate no damaging this fight, because it feels like it's so easy to get hit. Like, I think there's this one goo attack when I was trying to no damage all the bosses of Virgil. So I'll always hold Needhog accountable for that, and I'll never forgive him, so <laughs> I gotta place him towards the bottom. Other than that attack, though, I will say that I do like dodging his, like, individual head attacks where they all, like, scrape the floor. And I do like dodging his, like, sword attacks. I think that's pretty fun when he charges at you. And I do like the stun window of his fight, so... It definitely isn't awful. It's not my favorite for sure, though, so... On to the next boss. Alright, so next on the list is going to be Nightmare. And with Nightmare, there are many parts of this fight that I really enjoy. But there are a few flaws for me. But I have to say, this is a very good boss fight. And I really like this fight since you're basically fighting V. And one of the highlights of this fight for me is definitely, uh, I think, uh, Nightmare's beam attack is really fun to dodge. And also Shadow and Griffin attacking you simultaneously makes this a good fight. I will say, though, I wish there was a way to permanently kill Shadow and Griffin, as opposed to them constantly respawning. As when Sun advise more strategy in this fight, as he could probably bring them out like, one by one. Which I think would be really fun. And overall, this boss is mainly just this low due to my preference of having a one-on-one -on -one boss, as opposed to fighting multiple enemies as a boss. But I, despite that, I still really like this boss. Like, I especially like uh, Nightmares, just uh, kind of significance to the story, just like of ending Virgil's Nightmares, I think is just really well done. And really, I think that's all I have to say, so on to the next boss. Alright, next up on the list is going to be the best boss not in the Bloody Palace. 
other than Dante, of course. Let's give it up for Eldegarian Knight. Now, I really like this guy as a boss. Like, I think his design is super cool. Like, I just think, like, a horse rider is just super cool as a boss. But my only real complaint about this guy is I really wish he'd use a sword to fight back more. Where I feel like, especially, like, if you chase him, like, he just will run away a lot where he just won't use a sword. And uh, I will say his range attack is solid, though, like, where he just shoots, like, at you. And you can just dodge it. Like, I, th I think that's a solid attack. And uh, I will say this fight is a little more fun with Virgil than it is with V. I still enjoy it with V. But, like, I like that Virgil's trick dodge just lets you chase him around the arena because it makes it him running away not as much of an issue. And I also, I have to say, like, just I really love his, like, freeze bubble attack where he charges at you. Like, he tries to freeze you and then he'll do the charge afterwards. I just think it's really visually just a really cool attack. And it does do a lot of damage, which... It kind of keeps you on your toes, which I think overall makes this guy a pretty good boss. He's not among this game's like top bosses, but I still think he's pretty fun. That's really all I have to say. Actually, before I finish him, I, it just got, came to me. I completely forgot to talk about his shock attacks. I really like his shock attacks. I feel like they're really cool and really keep you so you, you can't be like too aggressive on him or also do like some serious damage. I think that's another element of this fight that I really like. And now that's all I have to say. So on to the next boss. Alright, next on the list is going to be Malthus. Who I actually forgot originally. Like, this is actually the last one I'm recording. So I completely forgot to put Malthus on the script. Which is really weird. So I've already got gameplay for Malthus. But for some reason I just completely forgot her. Okay, so now let's get on to rating this chicken. Gotta pay attention so I think Malthus basically is really a fantastic boss. And I really have a lot of fun fighting Malthus anytime I fight against her. But she does have some flaws. I feel like she's really a little unbalanced with her jump attack and charge attacks doing just a ridiculous amount of damage. And uh, I will say she also really feels like a glass cannon though because she's really easy to stun. But again, those two attacks do like a crazy amount of damage which kind of balances out. And uh, I will say though, I do have a lot of fun countering her other attacks though. Like the portal attack she does where she sends her ch uh, chicken head and uh, I guess I have to say chicken f <laughs> chicken fingers. Through the portals is really fun to dodge. And also her spike attacks are pretty cool. Where she like launches spikes. And she spawns spikes on the f floor that you have to dodge. And uh, overall I have to say I I like Malphus. Like I think her, glass, being, her being a glass cannon is a really nice change of pace. But I have to say I prefer many of the bosses that are a little more balanced in this game. But Malphus is still really a fun boss to fight. Lots off to say about her. Alright, and for our next boss, well, he's certainly not good enough to become king of the underworld. I still think this guy is a fantastic starter boss. Again, I barely consider the Clypothroids a boss, and this guy's the first real challenge. Give it up for the mighty Goliath. Now, I have to say, I love Gl all of Goliath's attacks a lot. I think his punches, ball shooting attacks, and suction attacks are pretty cool. I also love how he adjusts the punches, like if you're in the air, for example, or you're on the ground. And also his ground slam is pretty cool. And I like the uh, time you have for charge attacks after his ground slam. I also think that's like hilarious. And I also have to say I like the venue you fight him at. Like the church is pretty cool. And I like how he destroys the church over the course of the fight. And it just makes it really dynamic. To the point where you're at the courtyard for most of the fight. And also I do like Nero's buster animation for him because... I just think spinning him around is completely hilarious. And uh, finally, before I'm done talking about him, I have to say he is my favorite punching bag in the Bloody Palace. He's just so easy to practice against for like new moves and stuff. That he's just he's just a fun fight. And on a side note, I really wish this game had like a tracker for how many times you've killed a boss because I feel like I've killed Goliath by far the most. To sum them up, I'd say uh, Goliath is a really balanced boss that has a very move set, which makes him very fun. And since he's not too hard, he's a very good boss for learning all the game's controls. I have to say I really like him because of this. <laughs> Alright, next up on the list is the boss I probably like sparring against the second boss when I'm tired of annihilating Goliath for like the thousandth time. 
give it up for Artemis. Now, I have to say, I like Artemis maybe just like barely above Goliath, but I give her a slight edge since I feel like she has a more varied moveset. No chit -chat or, monologue. or like I really enjoy like dodging her flying attacks, for example, where she just decides to charge at you. And her regular beam attacks, where she spawns them either like vertically or horizontally, those are really fun to dodge. And uh, also her petals again, like she sometimes spawns like two petals against you. And the beams they put, like kind of like the uh, like hula hoop beams, they kind of put around you. Those are fun to dodge, but typically I destroy those too fast for them to really do anything with Nero's gun. And um, I have to say, I also like her big laser attack a lot when she just decides, and eh, I'm just gonna go crazy. And it's fun to even just sneak r behind her when she does that. I will say, though, but my one main complaint is when she goes up in the air, I feel like she gives you way too much of a window to uh, do damage to her. I've never seen her like do her air attack where she does that big explosion unless I try to let her do it. Because I was just curious. Even on like, higher difficulties, it's just so easy to stun her and get her back down to the ground. And that's really it. This is just, Artemis is just a really good boss. All right, Artemis is going to wrap up uh, part one of this video. Like, I'm going to try and get the second part out in a few days for the rest of the bosses. I was originally going to do all these as, like, one part, but I just realized editing the footage is going to take a few days longer for a lot of the bosses, so I figured I'd just put this out there. And also, I'm really excited about this video, so I figured just releasing it like twice would make me just really excited each time. And uh, I thank everybody so much for watching the video up until this point if you have or if you skip to the end. I really appreciate that. And I really hope you come back for part two. Also, I really hope the uh, production quality of this video was good enough and I hope my takes were good. Like, I really hope like I don't have just such bad takes where it's like, how do you rank this boss this low or something like that. Let me know in the comments, though, if you like disagree at all. Like... Uh, I'd love to hear what just you guys think. And that's going to wrap this video up. Have a good day, my fellow devil hunters. Goodbye.